Hey everybody, welcome back to the Print 3D channel. Today is September 11th, and that means day 254 of the 3DP 365 project. And on today's episode, we printed out these very practical storage capsules, so stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back, and thank you for joining me here for day 254 of the 3DP 365 project. On today's episode, we printed out these very practical storage capsules, and our prints turned out pretty good. I am happy with the results. This is a very, very cool design. It's a very simple design too. It's only a 90 minute print, depending on the speed of your printer and how you set it up. And these actually come in a multitude of sizes. There's a small, medium, and a large, and there's a short, medium, and a long version Plus there's also a key fob version, which I thought was really cool of the artist to include. And we actually downloaded these files from my mini factory, but you can also get them from Thingiverse because Muzz64, the artist who designed these, he likes to post his stuff on multiple STL sites because some people don't use certain sites for certain reasons, for whatever reasons, of course. But these are available on pretty much every single STL site out there. So you can easily download them. But I downloaded ours from my mini factory and I'll put the link for my mini factory down in the description so you guys can download and print this yourself. And he did an amazing job on these. These are super, super cool. And he did include all the different sizes so you don't really have to scale them. They are scalable because it's a pretty simple design. And they connect using a very simple press fit. They don't require any threads or screws. So they'll print out really, really easily. And these also print out without any support material, which is really cool so they're designed for 3D printing. When it gets to the cap, you'll see it does a little bridge move and closes it. And then there's a little bit of dead space at the bottom or at the tips of each of the capsules, which is fine. It still maximizes the space within the capsule itself. So you're not really losing a whole lot of space. And these are perfect for storage because since they just snap together, you could use these to store your cables for your phone or a multitude of items. And I think you could probably take these into Fusion 360 and remix them and make a little bit of room for a rubber gasket in here. And these would be very, very practical for things like fishing gear or to take on camping or hiking or even make them waterproof if you could get the one problem that I had with the print ironed out. And that's where I'm hoping you guys can help me. Now I've printed quite a few of these. I printed four different colors. We used Matter Hackers Pro PLA in red, white, blue, and silver. We even have some silver in here too. So I have four sets of them. And during the printing, I kept making some minor adjustments because my seam is opening up like the Grand Canyon and I don't know why it's doing that. I don't know if it's the geometry or the speed or retraction. And I'm hoping you guys can help me by maybe leaving some suggestions down in the comments. Because these are some really, really cool models and I wanna print some of the other sizes, but I don't wanna keep fighting with this seam issue. I wanna keep printing. So if you guys have some ideas on how to fix that seam problem, that would be awesome and I'd really appreciate it. But other than that, the prints came out great. There are no blobs, there are no globs, there are no layer skips. There's no sign of banding whatsoever because they do print standing up. And Muzz actually suggests you print these with a wrap. Now, I don't like to print with wraps. I actually don't even like printing with support. I like my models to come out super clean when I print them. But he suggests you use a raft with these prints. And I didn't use a raft. And I'll show you this little picture right here of the reds printing. My G-Max held tight on the sanded acrylic board using no brim, no raft, and just the skirt to prime my extruder. So I think these are possible to print without the raft because there is a lot of surface area there that does contact your print bed. Now, if you're using build tech, you don't have a perfectly smooth surface. So there is a chance that you could get some air bubbles underneath that plastic with the build tech or any other kind of textured surface. Build tech's an awesome surface. I'm not bagging on them whatsoever. They do a really good job of sticking things down to the build plate. But with something like this, where you're printing out such a small footprint of PLA or ABS or whatever the material you're printing with is contacting your build plate, you do sometimes want to use a raft or a brim. But like I said, the G-Max held tight without any of those. So that's awesome. So as I was able to print a whole bunch of these and not have to do any cleanup, just pop them off the bed and snap them together. And you have a really, really cool practical storage capsule. So these are really, really awesome. And my G-Max did a stellar job, like I said. I think it's a setting issue, not my printer or my filament, that is causing that uh, seam to open up there like the Grand Canyon. 
So I'd really appreciate your guys' help if you guys could give some suggestions. And I really do love this print. I'll put the link down in the description to Muzz's page and the link for these capsules. And like I said, they come in a variety of sizes and a variety of lengths. And you also get a key fob, so if you wanted to store something special with your keys, he even included that too. Well, that about wraps it up for day 254 of the 3DP 365 project. If you're looking for ways to support the channel, check out those affiliate links down in the description for Matter Hackers, GearBest, and Amazon. If you make a purchase through those affiliate links, it kicks a little bit back to the channel. It doesn't cost you a penny, and I really appreciate it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share those videos, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.